Love me. Please, anyone, everyone here, please love me. Love who I am. Tell me that I'll be okay. Don't want to keep all these secrets. I feel like Hi, my name is Lindsay Kraft, and we are at the Hudson Theaters in Hollywood on night seven of my musical called Love Me. After you, what will remain? My name's Linda Perry. I'm a producer and a songwriter. Musical director, I would say, is what I what my job was. Love Me is the story of my life and about a woman discovering who she is through her past relationships. For all my boys, uh, he even paid to freeze my eggs for a few more years because there was like a deal on eggs. Um, it's just like, I don't know if that's like what I want. Her experience of trying to find herself navigating through love, through the heart. She had to go through a lot of broken moments to get to maybe you need to fucking put yourself first instead of letting these guys dictate and tell you who and what you're not. I didn't know how to play music four years ago, but I started to feel like, I think I have something more to say than the lines that are being given to me to say. Can you feel? I was at the piano, I would say, like six months, 14 hours a day. And now looking back, I was like, oh, that was crazy. You know, for someone who's never written a song before and started writing at 40 years old and decided, oh, I'm going to play piano, write, write songs, sing, and then, oh, yeah, um, while I'm at it, I'm going to write a musical. It's like Lindsay just saw what she needed to do and just went right for it. And I want to be a part of people who are driven like that. I would show her the songs and she'd be like, great, 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 not great, 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 not great. Lindsay was getting her groove better. She was writing better. She started writing more and then started understanding what the story was and she was able to fill in the gaps. Love, comma, me it means essentially three different things. I think at the start of the play, it's a woman who just wants to be loved, not liked, loved, and then by the middle of the show, you're starting to realize this is a woman who is starting to love herself. I think by the end of it, it's love, comma, me, which is like, this is my letter to you so that you understand who I am. I felt that, okay, the songs were at the level they needed to be. I was like, why don't we do a run at the Hudson Theater? Alicia came in and, um, and basically saved the day and gave us the funds to make this happen. And it's a blessing because otherwise we wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be sitting in here. Thank you. So thank you, Alicia, and thank My you, pleasure. Field. Then after that, it was okay for me to be able to listen and go, okay, what, what's the best way to support her voice and her songs? You know, Lindsay's voice is high. And so I had to get instrumentation that was grounded. Nothing happens unless you are the one to make the change. I hope people take from seeing Love Me and hearing Love Me that even if they're you know, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, that it's not too late to change or to discover something new.